there, it's Roseanne here from Country Chic Paint and today I'd like to introduce you to our clear bonding primer. As you probably already know, our furniture paint requires very little prep work in most cases. However, on rare occasions, a little something extra may be necessary to help the paint adhere and make sure your hard work will last for years to come. Some pieces of furniture, even if they've been properly cleaned, may resist paint. For example, very shiny or smooth surfaces like glass or metal, surfaces that have been previously stained, wood painted with an oil-based product, or a shiny factory finish, such as IKEA furniture. All of these might make it difficult for the paint to adhere well. If you're not sure what kind of finish was previously used on your piece and you would like to test it, Watch our surface prep tutorial for more information. If you'd like to start off with an easy project that won't leave you frustrated, make sure you pick a piece that is made of raw wood or one that was finished with a not too shiny surface. However, when you do want to paint a piece that has a very smooth or very shiny surface, such as a factory finish, then our clear bonding primer can help. As always, we recommend to do a scratch test before tackling an entire project. This avoids disappointment, as you'll know before you start if you might run into problems. First, make sure that your piece is properly cleaned, then you'll paint a small square section on part of your piece. Keep in mind that different areas of a piece might be finished differently, so if you want to cover all your bases, then you'll paint a little square on the top of your dresser, a little square on the dresser front, and a little square on the dresser side. You'll leave this to dry for 24 hours. Then you'll do the scratch test which means that you try to rub off the paint with your fingernail. If the paint comes off easily, then it means that you'll have to do more prep work before you paint your entire project. Primer would be my recommended way to go, because it's much safer than sanding, as you may be exposing yourself to lead paint by sanding an older finish. If you've ever used primer before, you'll notice right away that ours is very different than most. It is not white or gray, but it's clear. The reason I like having a clear primer is that it won't interfere with the look of your piece if you want to distress it. If you're removing some of the paint from the edges to give your piece a worn look, you'll have the beautiful look of wood underneath and not a white coat of primer. Our clear bonding primer is also very safe to use because it has very low VOCs. Of course, no offensive smell either. I'm going to use this board that has an industrial finish to show you how the primer works. Even when you're applying a primer, you'll want to make sure your piece has been properly cleaned first. So give it a quick wipe down with a mild vinegar water solution to remove any dust or dirt before you continue. Give your jar a good shake and then open it up and stir it for about one minute to really make sure the ingredients are combined well together. Now I'm going to use a synthetic bristle crunch chic paint brush to apply it to my board. As you can see, it's completely clear, so it's probably really hard to see this in the video. You want to leave uh, this to dry for several hours before applying any paint to it. Once your primer is completely dry, you can start painting your piece as usual. I prepared this board ahead of time so I can show you the amazing difference some primer can make. I applied bonding primer to this side of the board and then painted cobblestone over top. The other side is painted just with cobblestone and there's no primer in between the oil-based finish and the paint. These boards have dried overnight now, so as you can see when I scratch the surface, I am not able to remove any of the paint on the side that has the primer underneath it. But now if I try it on this side, with where no primer is put on top of the oil finish, you'll see that I can remove the paint. So it makes a big difference. That's why it's so important to do a scratch test before you paint an entire project because you never know what kind of finish you're gonna run into. For shiny surfaces, I would highly recommend you to use our clear bonding primer as it will make your painting much more stress-free. And it's a quick step that won't take you much time at all, but you'll achieve great results every time. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave us a comment if you have any questions or click the like button. If you'd like to find out more about our products and where you can find them, please visit our website, countrychicpaint.com. If you don't want to miss any of our upcoming tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting.